Hey there, we are going to make a mini self portrait for your fifth grade end of the year t-shirt. So right now I'm not gonna go into all the materials that you need. I'm just gonna talk about what you need for the drawing part. And all you're going to need is a two by three index card, pencil and eraser, and possibly a mirror. So let's get started. So what you need to remember is think about your face shape. You know, is it oval? Is it round? Is it square? So mine is oval. So in the middle, I'm going to draw my face. And one thing I've, I've always recommended is there's no reason to press really, really hard with your pencil. You just need to press light enough to where you can see the lines or dark enough where you can see the lines and then light enough where you can erase it. So this takes a bit of a time to kind of perfect the face shape. Okay. Next is remember the um, rules I've told you about self portraits. Your eyes are halfway on your face, and then half of half is where your nose is, and then half of half of half is where your lips are, and that might be adjusted. So right around here is gonna be my eyes. I'm actually doing this without looking in a mirror So the dotted line should be going through the eyes. And then drawing my pupils. And then my nose. I've drawn enough self-portraits where I kind of know my nose shape. And my eyebrows. And then right here is my lips. I have pretty thin lips, so I'm not going to really draw them that huge. And usually rule of thumb is the middle of your eyes is where your lips, ends of your lips are. And then I'm not gonna draw my ears because my hair is gonna cover it, but ears are from eyes to nose and then all this space up here is really where your hair is and so I'm going to draw where my hair usually parts and I'm actually not going to spend a lot of time drawing the strokes of my hair I can do that with my marker but I do know the general direction of my hair is going to go like this And like that, right? Now, my neck, here's the middle of my eye. Here's my mouth. That's where my neck should be. Hmm, seems a little crooked. Hang on. Sometimes even when you follow the general rules, the proportion still seems off. So it's okay to make those adjustments. And then draw my shirt. Mm. See, even though I followed the proportion rules. I don't know, this time around when I drew it, it just seems a little weird. But when I drew it on here, it seemed okay. So I don't know. Okay, once you're done with that, then this is where the other supplies come in. You are going to find a skin tone marker that matches your skin tone. That's the Colors of the World Crayola markers. 
and then you're going to find a color for your hair and your eyes and your eyebrows, a color for your shirt and a color for your background. So I actually prefer these markers for my skin tone. And then this, I'm gonna kind of mix these two for my hair and my eyes and my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use this for my background and then this for my shirt and the reason why is because um you know and i'm not saying you have to follow this rule but it's just it's nice to have a darker color shirt because majority of your self-portrait is um a, a, a huge piece of your self-portrait is the background and you want a background and so you want a light color so your face and your hair and your shirt stand out more. And um, so that's just a suggestion. And then also when you're writing in marker, your name, you want it to stand out. So if you did a dark purple background, your name's not gonna show up that well. So just some things to keep in mind. So when you find your t-shirt, or not your t-shirt, when you find your skin color, markers please make sure you just take the marker and swatch it on a piece of paper next to the bucket before you did before you just start coloring because the worst thing you can do is you work really really hard making this uh, drawing and then you don't test out the marker and then the marker is not the color that you imagined so one thing I recommend is try to get a pencil that has an eraser. These erasers are too big to handle uh, erasing tiny little spaces. But I'm gonna try my best. Okay, so first thing I'm going to color my skin. And really, it's really hard to just kind of color around everything. And so I would um, just try to avoid coloring over your eyes. Everything else will work out on its own. And then um, take your the colors you want to use for the lip. So I'm gonna use this one. And then the eyebrows, oh dear. Okay, maybe not use such a thick marker, even though this was thin tip. Maybe use colored pencil for that or thin, Fine tip, Sharpie, extra fine tip. So then you, I'm coloring in the direction that my hair goes, right? You don't wanna do random circular motions. You don't wanna do coloring horizontal. Well, this part you do. But then when your hair goes down mm, I kind of like my first self-portrait better than this one okay then my brown eyes Okay, then my purple shirt. And then I'm gonna color my background. This is a brush tip marker, so it covers more surface. 
the markers you're using are either fine tip or bold tip, so it's not gonna get done as fast. And then something I use is this tip marker or pen. This is such a fine tip. Okay, and then I go in and just draw outline. Perfect. And then in your background, you can write your name. And that's it. That is your mini self-portrait. So when you make your own, as soon as you get your index card paper, the first thing I need you to do on the back side where there is lines is write your first name. If there's two people in your class with the same first name, then write the first letter of your last name and write your grade and then your teacher, the first letter of your teacher's name. If you have Rox's class, I need the entire if you have Rodriguez, you just need to write that. If you have Salinas, you need to write S-A. If you have Sharma, write S-H. And then Hall and Lopez, whichever one.